Bronwyn, just tell us, this group, this Monetary Policy Committee, nine members who meet every month, what are they thinking about? What are they doing? Well, of course, their target is 2% inflation in two years' time. We're close to zero right now. And the oil price, as you know, has just dropped again. So we're quite a long way from that 2% level. So they'll be looking at what's changed. Last month in the inflation report, what they talked about was concerns over emerging markets. So they'll be looking at the global economy, they'll be looking at what's changed in the UK, but I don't think they're going to change their vote. No, it's unlikely we'll see a decision change. But when you say about this 2% target, and we're well off that, aren't we? What, what could they do to try and get to it? Well, of course, that's always difficult. I suppose they could try and cut rates again. But I think inflation's low in the whole world, so they're really looking at what's going on in the whole economy. And of course, the UK has grown more than most of its uh, G7, so the developed economies, over the last three years than any of the others. So we're doing well. It's just inflation stays low, and that is their target. Mm. So they're uh, not going to do anything. And, and for lots of people, they'd be happy that inflation is low because it means life's uh, you know, not going up as, as fast in terms of their expenses and things. But it can be bad news for the economy if it's too low, can't it? It can be bad news because if it, it's actually just below zero now, and then people think, well, if I save more, you know, it actually be worth more going forward than it was. And it also does things, create distortions, the buy-to-let market. You know, mortgages are really, really cheap. So once if you, rates start to go up, that will cause them problems. But people are doing it because they're looking for returns on their money because mm -hmm. savings, they're not getting any money in the bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bronwyn, thank you. Let me bring in Alpesh as well, because Alpesh, you're someone who knows what's going on with the, the markets world, all the companies, and, and in terms of the stock markets and yeah. things. What are your thoughts on uh, the Monetary Policy Committee meeting? We're unlikely to see a change, are we? We're not going to see a change. <clears throat> if I was going to put a positive spin on it all, what I'd say is, look, the stock market's at a near-time high. Now, I know a lot of people find the stock market incredibly complicated to follow, but actually, as Bronwyn was saying, it's very difficult getting a return on your cash in, in the bank, so you might want to look at shares. And actually, one of the, what, the sort of the, the areas areas which are booming perversely are the, are the house builders they're making <clears throat> they're making bumper profits and we might actually want to look into how come they're making bumper profits when so many people are finding it difficult to get on the housing ladder. But, you know, there is a way of tapping into this low interest rate economy. The stock market is one of them. And as Bronwyn was saying, one of the benefits of this low interest rate economy is, well, actually, with inflation being so low, our cost of living isn't so high, so life should be a little bit easier. Also, because um, employment is at record high, so hopefully you're getting slightly uh, uh, but more for your money on the wages. Your salary isn't going up. You're not getting paid more each year, but at least it's going that bit further. So I'm, I want to look at it as a positive, even if you're not getting onto the housing ladder and benefiting directly from interest rates and low interest rates, there is other ways of benefiting. Uh, can you see it changing anytime soon? Because we, we, we often talk about America, don't we? And, and when, you know, we, we, we often use that phrase, don't we, about how if they, uh, they cough, we catch a cold. Or, yeah. it, and they're looking at potentially putting rates up soon, aren't they? Yes, well, whilst, whilst there are dislocations, uh, as Bronwyn mentioned, nevertheless, the, the economy is chugging along at a, at, a, at a nice pace. Employment, as I say, at, at record levels, stock market at record levels, growth. So I don't think they want to, want to knock that off the tracks. Uh, and, and whilst we will follow the Americans, I suspect we won't raise rates before the Americans do. I think actually all the major economies are too fearful of raising rates and causing this panic. Because we're, because, and the biggest panic will come from the homeowners. Because when their mortgage rates go up for the first time in, what is it, about seven years, uh, 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 and they're going to start feeling the pinch, there'll be a huge outcry. And I don't think we want to see a property collapse, which, which sounds extreme, but actually even a small rise could cause a lot of panic, and I think that's what they're really fearful of. Okay, well, thank you both for your time this morning. I'll let you get into the warm. Uh, that's it for me.